Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a three looks with my Vive Muse eyeshadow palette today. And this is the palette in question. It is by the brand Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's brand. She is a makeup artist here on YouTube. She does some amazing videos, so go and check her videos out. I love some of the techniques that she comes up with. And this is the Muse palette. This is the second palette that she released. So this is a more purpley pink romantic type of eyeshadow palette mostly mattes but with some shimmers in here as well and I got this palette for birthday I think it was birthday and Christmas for me are very very close to each other so I sometimes do forget which present I got for which but I'm pretty sure this was a birthday present and this had been on my wish list for quite a while and I'm so glad it's in my collection because I have had my eye on it for quite some time so this video really is just to have a play about with these colours and see the types of looks that I can come up with. My aim for this palette is just to make sure that I use every single shade once or at least once. So I'm going to insert some footage of the three different looks that I came up with. This is the third one so keep your eyes peeled for this one if this one kind of catches your eye. So I'm just going to get straight into it because I have three looks to show you and I'm aware that this video might be fairly long. So I'm just going to cut to the clips and show you the three looks that I came up with with the Vive Muse palette. Okay, look number one. I think I want to keep it kind of light today. So I'm thinking possibly Peony and Divine, maybe darken it up a little bit with maybe something like Bow or love but i'm gonna start off with my nyx eyeshadow base from my project pan like i always do then i am actually going to take the shade peony and i'm going to put that all over the lid as like a base color that is pretty similar to my eyelid shade just a touch pinkier nice that's a nice base that's really nice if I just wanted a little something on my eyes and nothing else but of course I am gonna go in with more colors I'm gonna take the shade bow that one there as a crease shade and I've got a Sigma Luxe Petite crease brush This is a really nice crease shade, I like this. Like with the Essential palette, these shades are just so blendable, they're so like buttery. Really, really lovely to work with. I'm not the best at eyeshadow, but I feel like these make it easier. And again, like with the Essentials palette, there's like hardly any fallout at all from these matte shades. Pretty, I like that, I really like that combination. Again, you could just kind of leave it there. I am gonna go a bit more pinky. I was thinking, shall I go for love or source? But I think I'm gonna go for love. So I'm gonna take a smaller crease brush. This is a Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender. And I'm going to try to run that a bit more precisely under bow, under the shade bow. It seems like a lot of the shades in this palette are really wearable shades. I think sometimes with a pink and a purple palette, they can be a little bit intimidating, but these are just really wearable, soft shades. I also love this brush, this E42 Sigma brush it is brilliant. If you don't have a lot of visible lid space like myself, go for a smaller blender brush. I did buy a few brushes from Sigma. I think I bought three eyeshadow brushes, but this is the one that I've used the most. I'm really liking these pink shades. I think they are so, so pretty. Okay, I'm intrigued to see what the shimmers are like though, because the shimmers in the Essentials palette for me are a little bit disappointing because you do get quite a bit of fallout. So I'm hoping it's not the case with these, but it might be, but let's see. I'm gonna take the shade Divine, this one here, this real shimmery baby pink shade, and I'm gonna use my finger, and I'm just gonna tap this onto my lid. Not 
bad so far in terms of fallout. Mm, pretty shimmery shade, that one. That's got quite good pigmentation. I like that. Let's do the same with the other eye. Just gonna take a bit more of love back onto the crease. Just to blend that out a bit. And I'm gonna take some of that as well on the outer corner just to darken up that a little bit. But I said I wanna to try to keep it light. So I'm not gonna use a darker shade on the outer corner, I don't think. Just a little bit of fallout, I'm just gonna wipe away. Not much, not as much compared to the Essentials palette. Right, I am gonna try a liner. I'm gonna try and keep it very, very thin though because I do want this to remain quite a bright, light look. But I am gonna see what velvet is like as a liner. Nice, very, very subtle. I did have to block you guys out. I do get really close to the mirror when I do my liner, but there is a little bit of something by the lash line. It's not as pigmented as the black in the Essentials palette, but maybe you could like dip in and out of both to create like a dark purple liner. But that's all I wanna do because like I say, I still want it to be quite a nice bright light look. Okay, gonna run some of Love under my lower lash line. Nice, I like that. And then I'm gonna use that Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease brush again to go in with bow underneath that just to kind of smudge it out a little bit and just blend it into my lower lash line area a little bit. Okay, just gonna finish off the look with some mascara and I'll be back. So I just finished off the look with my Hourglass Unlocked Extension Mascara, something along those lines. On my lips is MAC Subculture Lip Liner, MAC Faux Lipstick, and then a bit of Eve Lip Dew. And then just for the rest of my face in terms of Eve makeup, I do have the bronzer on and I've got the blush in Sorbet. So this is look number one, probably gonna be the softest of the makeup looks that I'm gonna create in this video. It's a real sort of light pink with a bit of a shimmery pink sparkly lid. Touch of liner with the purple shade. Just a really pretty sort of everyday but also girly date night type of makeup look. Okay, look number two. I think I'm gonna go slightly darker, but I'm gonna start off with how I usually do, NYX eyeshadow base again. And then I'm gonna set that with Peony. And then with a Luxe Petite crease brush from Zoeva, I'm gonna take the shade Source and just run that just above my crease. This is a really pigmented shade. I only dipped in like twice. <laughs> Pretty shade though. And then the same with the other eye. And the day that I'm filming this is the same day that Vive have come out with their new pink lipsticks. And I may have placed an order for a couple of lip liners and a couple of lipsticks. Not that I needed any, but I'm just so weak when it comes to Vive makeup and the colours are beautiful. And I'm just really loving wearing pink base makeup at the moment. Nice, I really like that shade, that is beautiful. Gonna go in with my favorite brush, my new favorite brush from Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender. And I'm gonna go for a slightly dark shade. I'm gonna take Merlot, that one there, and just run that under this shade. So a bit more directly in the crease and on the outer V. So I'm basically kind of doing the same type of look that I did yesterday, really simple in terms of placement, but just darker in color. I might push myself a bit tomorrow and do like a halo eye or something. I don't know. Honestly, these shades are just so easy to use. They're just so blendable. They're not patchy. And that kind of was my concern a bit with like a purpley type of palette. Purple type shades are quite easy to become patchy, but I've not experienced that with this. 
so that's good. And then keeping in with the real simple placement, I'm going to go with finery on my finger over the rest of the lid. You know what, I think I prefer these shimmers to the ones in the Essential palette. I don't know if they are different, but they feel like they apply different. Because in the Essentials palette they do have a lot more fallout. Whereas two of the three that I've tried in here so far don't seem to have as much fallout. Pretty shimmer shade. This is so warm. This is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you do get some fallout, but it's not as bad as the Essentials palette. And then just running a bit more of Merlot back over that crease just to define it a little bit more. I love this Merlot shade. I think it's beautiful for green eyes. Ooh. Okay, going to run some of both Sauce and Merlot underneath the lower lash line. Nice, pretty. Okay, I'm just going to finish up the eyes. I think I might go for a little bit of eyeliner and possibly a black mascara, but we'll see. I'm just going to finish that off. Okay, so I just used some of MAC Teddy to tight line and on my waterline. I did a real thin little brown liquid liner on my top lid. Mascara is my Hourglass Black Mascara, and then I did put a little bit of MAC Shroom under my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes. For the rest of the makeup, I've got on um, my Vive Bronzer and Vive Blush in Sorbet, and then on the lips was a little bit of MAC Subculture and Vive Lip Dew left over, so I just topped it up with a bit more of the Subculture liner. So this is look number two, so a little bit darker, a little bit more vampy, but you've got that real warm gold coming through with the shimmer there i think this is absolutely beautiful i think this palette might actually be my favorite between the two v palettes look number three just starting with priming my eyelids with the nyx eyeshadow base and then i'm going to set that with peony Right, I'm going to go a bit darker today. There are a couple of colours in this palette that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to take the shade Mystic and have that like a crease shade. It is going to be quite a dark crease shade, but I'm just going to try to slowly build this colour up. I think I might try to do some sort of like halo eye today. That's a lot warmer on the eye than I was expecting it to be because in the pan it looks a bit cool toned, it looks a bit like a grey purple, but actually it is quite warm, it's quite pink. Interesting. And then I'm going to put some on the inner corner and the outer corner to start building up that halo like effect. And then same thing on the other eye. Okay, going to take a small look crease brush. This is the Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease. I do quite like this brush for a bit more precision with my crease shades. And I'm going to go with Velvet. This isn't as dark and scary as I thought it might be. That's good. And then just add some of this to the inner and outer corner as well. Okay, and then I'm going to go for Regal, this sparkly purple here. Has the light just changed? Yeah, it got darker. I'm filming only with natural light, so apologies for the lighting. Yes, so I'm going to take Regal and I'm going to try it on a brush and I'm just going to pop some into the middle of the lid and see how this applies. Hmm, actually, just 
use a finger. Oh no, 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 fall out, fall out, fall out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, saved it. It's not an obvious halo eye because these shades are all quite dark. But that is a pretty shade though, I like that. Right, I'm just gonna run some of Mystic and Velvet under my lower lash line. Nice, I'm just gonna finish off the eyes, put on a lip and I'll be back. And then this is the final look. So I put a bit of Max Shroom on the inner corners of my eyes and under my brow bone. I did a black liquid liner and then I put Mac Teddy in the waterline, put a black mascara and then on the lips is Estee Lauder Intense Nude Lipstick. And then like with all my other Vive makeup looks, I have the Vive bronzer on and I have the Piazza blusher on today. So this is the third and final look. So it's a lot darker, it's a lot more sultry, it's a bit more of a heavier makeup look. But these purple shades were still really easy to work with. They still have a nice amount of warmth to them. They do have that kind of reddy pink undertone. Look lovely with green eyes or with any other eye colour. This would be a great night out or evening makeup look. So those were the three makeup looks that I created with the Vive Muse palette. Please let me know your favourite one down in the comments below. I think mine was probably the second one. I wouldn't often wear this much makeup, so this is definitely an occasion type of makeup or an evening out type of makeup, but I do still like it. I think the palette is absolutely lovely. The shades are so pigmented. They're really easy to blend, but they don't have any of that muddiness that sometimes a purple eyeshadow can have. And I think the palette is really, really beautiful. I think perhaps it might be my favourite Head of the Essentials palette. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon for my next video. Bye!